Diva and in today's video I am going to be sharing the Highlands One. You got it. This is another log cabin video. But this home is absolutely beautiful. And I know you guys have been enjoy enjoying these log cabin tours. So let's get right into this one. Okay, family. So I know I'm starting off in the corner, but I want you to see just how big this porch is. So this stonework is the fireplace, okay? But this is porch here. This is just the side of the house, okay? This is the front of the cabin look how long this cabin is this is absolutely beautiful so you've got this big dreamy porch and i know it's loud because we're on the side these houses are always on the side of the highway but i just wanted to show you just how long this porch is now this porch extends to this side don't mind that part this porch extends to this side okay so you've got a semi wrapped wrap around porch. Look at there. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's go in the front door so you can see what this home looks like. Again, this is the uh, Highlands one. It's a three bedroom, two bath home, log cabin. This is your view when you walk in. It never gets old. These cabins never get old. Really nice. All right, so this is the front door where we enter, okay? And then you have your living room space here. Again, we saw the fireplace, the brickwork from the outside. So that's what the fireplace looks like from the inside. So you've got a real fireplace. You can put your TV up there. Really lovely. Really lovely. And all of this, such a nice big area for your living room. You also got this coat closet at the foot of the stairs next to the front door for your guest. So your coats and things go in there or storage, whatever you like. And then you got your stairs. We'll see the upstairs in a minute. But again, this is your living room. Super lovely. Through the living room, you got your kitchen and dining room. Really nice. So all of this space, you have a big kitchen table. Now this one seats six, but you could totally, totally, totally have an even bigger table because look how much you, space you have on either side. Really pretty. Really pretty. You can put a leaf in it or you can have an even bigger table. So awesome, awesome, awesome. This is your kitchen. You've got an island here that you could put two benches at this island. And then you have all of this cabinet and storage space. Got a nice big refrigerator, built-in microwave in here. Just really beautiful. You've got your pantry space in here. Look at the pantry shelves. One, two, three, four shelves. Lots of space for pantry items and any appliances that you would have here. You also have cabinet space over here. So you've got drawers up top, soft closed drawers, cabinet space down below. Really lovely. And this is always my favorite. Love it. <laughs> For your pots. Absolutely love it. This should be standard in every kitchen. Really, it should. Really nice. Beautiful kitchen. I'm feeling the breeze from the ceiling fan in here. Really lovely. Now, this downstairs has a bedroom. It has a mas the master. So let's go take a look at the master and then I'll tell you how many square feet are downstairs and then we'll go upstairs and we'll talk about that. So you've got another storage closet right here for your things, really lovely. And then 
you've got space for your laundry right here. So your washer and dryer would go side by side in here. I know some of the log cabins that we've seen at this location, they were stackable, but this one can go side by side. Really nice. So that's your laundry. And then across from the laundry is the master. Doesn't it just look inviting and all cozy in here? You got your ceiling fan, it's a nice vibe, all the windows. So when you wake up in the morning, you can open the blinds and just let all the light in, or you can keep them closed and sleep all day. You're in a log cabin, it's up to you. You've got a nice master closet in here as well. Really nice. Really nice. And I like that this room is furnished so you can really see just how much stuff can go in the room. Really nice. Now I'm up against the wall next to the bed and that is how much space that you have. And you know what? This room doesn't have a TV and I wouldn't put one in here. It, this would just be a space for relaxing and cuddling. You know what I mean? All right. You got your master bath. Two sinks in this master bath. Really lovely. You got a standalone shower and you got some jets in this tub. Look at this. I call them jacuzzi jets, baby. So you got this corner soaker tub. You got a window, frosted window that opens there. And over the toilet, you got a nice window that opens there, which is always a plus. And then you've got this double doored linen closet for clothes, for towels, for personal items, for coolers, for floaties to go in the lake, just whatever you need to store. You've got lots of space in there. Super lovely. Super, super lovely. So that's your master bathroom. And then another view of your master bedroom. Really nice. All right. So, again, this is a three bedroom, two bath. You have an upstairs and a downstairs. The first floor has 1,100 square feet. Okay. So, you've got 1,100 square feet down here. That's why the rooms are so lar large because you've got so much square footage that everybody can just be comfortable. I absolutely love it. So let's go upstairs. Now upstairs has 630 square feet, bringing the total square footage for this house to 1,739 square feet. Look at the dog. He scared me. And I looked up. I thought it was a real dog. And I've seen them in the in in the, these other log cabins. So really nice. We're at the top of the stairs. You have this little area here. I don't know, you could put some games up here, uh, leave it as is, whatever you like. I don't know if this would necessarily qualify as a loft, but it's a nice little area. So at the top of the stairs, to the left is a bedroom, nice size bedroom. Really lovely, really, really lovely. This is bigger than the master, super nice. I'll let you take it in, cause I'm catching my breath. Those stairs be wearing me out, y'all. Okay, really lovely. We can just be comfortable in this house. How, I, you know, that table just seems in the wrong place. There would be a bench there under that window, like a reading nook. You know what I mean? I think that would be super cute. You've got your closet here. Lots of space in your closet. Really nice. So this is your additional bedroom. So we'll call this bedroom number two. You can even put bunk beds in here 
or even two sets of bunk beds because this is a nice size room. So lots of company can come over. You can even put a bunk bed here or a twin bed. It depends on how much space you need. Now this is the bathroom. This is the upstairs bathroom, okay? It has one sink. Through here, you have space for your towels and sheets and different things, storage. Your toilet is on this side. And then across from the sink is a tub and shower. All right, so nice size bathroom. I'll go out and turn back around. My gimbal is just doing what it want to do. She tired. We've been to two locations today. Got lots of great footage for you guys. Lots of beautiful homes. So this is the second bedroom, second bathroom. And then this is the second bedroom. Another great space. Another nice nook over there. Really lovely. And even though this doesn't have the tall ceilings like the other log cabins we've been in today, it still has at least nine or ten foot ceilings like like these these ceilings are tall so really nice this is your third bedroom we'll call this bedroom number three and there's the closet you've got a little nook back here i will put a desk and a computer or tv or just whatever you want. And then you have, again, that nook over there. Another bench under the window. You know, I said TV, but I didn't really mean it because in these cabins, this is, this is if you're not actually living in a log cabin, then these are like vacation spots for your family to come and relax. So I probably, you know, maybe a TV downstairs, but I would probably use it for games. Coming to a location like this, it really would be time to just get away from all the outside influences, relax, and just enjoy ourselves. I don't know. That's just my thought. But all of these homes have made me just feel super comfortable and warm and fuzzy on the inside. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in to this tour. I'm the Mobile Home Diva. I really enjoy sharing this log cabin with you. So I got lots of great log cabins to show as well as modular homes that I've toured today. And I'm super excited to bring it to you. Now this is the Highland one. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath. Now, did I show you the half bath? I didn't show you the half bath. This tour is not over. Off the dining room is a half bath. Look at there. Bam! So you got a powder room in this log cabin. How wonderful is that? You got space in here for a shower. This place is huge. My bad, you guys. See, I'm tired. It's been a long... I've been filming for eight hours, okay? So now the tour is complete. We got a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath. It's 1,100 square feet on the downstairs 639 square feet upstairs for a total of 1,739 total square feet. Now, let me tell you about price. These homes are priced by the square foot. So if you get this home with a basement, it's gonna be anywhere between $133 to $165 per square feet. If you add a crawl space, it's going to be anywhere between $185 and $320 per square feet. If you have questions about what that looks like, make sure you check the description box out below. All the information to Blue Ridge Log Cabins is there, names, website, address, so you can call and ask your questions. It's been a pleasure giving you this tour. I love you guys so, so, so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.